Hey everyone, it's Ron Garneau again at the Remax House of Real Estate and today we are showcasing 37 Pump Hill Landing in the community of Pump Hill. This is a semi-detached half duplex in this wonderful community. It feels like a uh, executive townhouse location, however these are all independent housing. And we are going to go inside and take a look at some of the fun features. Let's go check it out. So this unit has low monthly HOA fees and that takes care of the outside, all the lawn maintenance, the shoveling and just cleaning up of the neighborhood here. You are responsible for your own outside because it is not a condo. But check this out, this gardening, the nice little sitting area. Uh, in the back we have a covered patio which we're going to show you. But look at this, this is a gorgeous home. And here we are coming into 37 Palm Pail Landing. There is a phantom screen there, the nice panel door, the plantation shutters, real wood, and that open and close. You can actually see that each one of these ones actually can be opened up so you can get some more light. Shaker style doors, three panel. This is a reclaimed hardwood flooring, wide plank, real wood, throughout the whole main floor. Now that is a really nice feature. Coming in, you get the spiral staircase that's off here, curved wall, right into the dining area, which is quite spacious. You can open up a table to sit easily, like 12 people. Come on into the front to check out this. It could be a flex office slash front living room. And in here, you can see they actually have a nice desk set up, built-in cabinets, a TV, bay window, again, more windows. And this is at the front of the unit. We're just gonna kind of go through, and I'm gonna show you into the kitchen and it is really well laid out. So here we are in the kitchen. As you can see, it has to the ceiling cabinets and these are those white shaker style. It has a nice backsplash, kind of a combination of a travertine and glass tile, quartz countertops on both the main part as well as the island. Flat top stove. This one here is a five burner, twin sinks. You can see this is actually the cabinet they have where the uh, recycling goes. They have a nice white mealy dishwasher. Check out this pantry here. So the pantry is built in where you can see the lots of extra room. This is right in the kitchen as well. And just above it is a TV. So if you want to watch those cooking shows, here's where you see it. So a few more things about the kitchen is one is this shelf above the fridge which is actually nice and deep where you can put some more of your appliances. Side-by-side -side KitchenAid, side-by-side -side fridge, stainless steel, over uh, the oven, microwave built in, as well as a wall oven. This is also a high-end uh, convection oven as well. And two little treasures is this one here is for your uh, cookie sheets and little, little uh, other trays. And on the other side is a spot that they have set up where it's tucked in behind. And this is another cabinet. You can use it for your liquor storage or just other things for your, uh, things like extra food and other uh, pots and pans. At the back of the unit, you'll see they have this nice nook. This is a kitchen nook. So this is the second eating area. They have the formal dining and this one here is set up. They have a nice little tall table here. You can look out and when we get to the backyard, you'll see it's well laid out, lots of mature trees. And this is the time of year you want to come see this unit. And again, coming from the front of the unit, this is where we come on the other side. And here's where the living room is. And in the living room, the first thing you notice are these high ceilings. So it's vaulted ceilings, ceiling fan, and again, nice neutral walls, built-in speakers. And we're going to get to some of the technology later. Again, the back of the unit, check out this. If you want to see, is if you open this up, check out first off the view, all the light that comes in, that's west facing. Covered patio, Dura deck on the deck as well. And when we go outside, I'll show you some more of those features. Wow, and here we are in the master bedroom. And the master bedroom is extra special for a few reasons. Vaulted ceiling, this is big enough for a big king size bed. And as well as a sitting area at the back, there is a bay window here. You can see just how much space there is in here for all your dressers. If you want to have a lounge chair, it's a great retreat. Now let's go see the ensuite. So now in the ensuite bathroom, we have a big walk-in closet, 
Again, vaulted ceilings. There is a skylight for some natural light. They have their twin sinks with the quartz countertops, a separate water closet over here, and this walk-in shower. And this is a fantastic unit. Travertine tile on the outside, stone on the floor, and a nice handheld. And in the walk-in closet, you can see that there's lots of shelves, hanging racks built in for the shoes, storage on top, as well as attic access in here. So all the space for all your clothes. And in this executive condo, there's extra spots, like a really nice spot to put a tall vase, this nice staircase with the wood surround on all those spindles. Let's go into the back area where we see even more glorious features such as an extra full bathroom. This is good because there's a second bedroom right here as well. So in addition to the bathrooms having heated floors, there's also heated floors in this travertine tile that's at the back entrance, where we also remember we talked about the sink, over the uh, sink cabinets, another closet. There's also the nice place to fold clothes on top of the washer and dryer. And let's not forget the garage. This is a front. There's also a security system. Front attached garage. Oversized, the front part actually has extra storage, lots of cabinets. There's also a heated uh, system in here as well because it has the furnace in the garage that was freshly installed recently. And because this is an 1800 square foot unit, you're gonna find that you get an extra bedroom upstairs and wait till we get downstairs just to show you how much extra space there is in this unit. And coming downstairs into the finished basement, the very first thing you're greeted with is the components. This is a rack for all your stereo components. There are four TVs in here, wired in with all the built-in speakers, and you'll have a great entertaining experience with this component system. This living area downstairs is fantastic for watching the big screen. This is at least a 75 inch TV that's built in. It also has a component built in here. So there's speakers on either side. Great space whether you do a sectional or like they have three sofas. An extra area here, you could use this as a exercise room, but there's more room at the back which we'll show you. Check out this fireplace. That is a gas burning fireplace, nice and wide. And oh, that's kicking off some nice heat. You'll love this. And another spot coming back over to this corner, they have this set up as a little area just for doing the crafts. You can do whatever you want in here because there is so much room in this room. Downstairs, we also get this room here. This one here could be treated as a second master bedroom because it is so large. Again, tons of space for a king size bed. Your dressers can go over here. The bay window, they have set up with some extra chairs where you can do it as a little lounger as well. And now let's go look at the closet space as well as the bathroom. So this is a cheater ensuite bathroom where you can come in here off the bedroom or through the main open area as well. Check out this bathroom downstairs, heated travertine floors, extra large shower. It does have the handheld shower head and there's also an updated colder toilet as well. And this bathroom is really, really comfortable and well set up. Now for the extra treasure in this one here, coming into the back, is check out this. This is just an extra undeveloped area. Here you're gonna find you have two high efficient furnaces, nice tall ceilings, and this is all laid out for extra storage or if you wanna turn this into an extra living room, you can turn it into an exercise room or just keep it as storage, but gives you extra space in this large unit. There is also central air conditioning for those hot summer days, you'll stay cool. And what I really like about this private yard is check this out. Very, very private. They have the gardens in the back. This private, private deck, it does have the uh, gas barbecue. There's also an awning on top that actually will come out to even protect you from more of the uh, elements in the hot days. If you want to get more information about this property, visit us at sellhomes.ca. Call me direct at 830-1009, area code 403, and uh, click on our videos to get more information. And thank you for watching.